Hello, this is the second in the Middle Way series and it's going to focus more on motivation for practicing in a Middle Way type of approach. And I'm going to, to focus a little bit first of all on the overview that gives you a sense of why it's worth actually engaging in this middle way approach to effort and application in meditation and the practice of mindfulness and awareness generally. So I think it, it's very clear to very many people when they start to practice mindfulness, awareness, meditation that it's not easy. Uh, it can be disheartening and uh, give quite a sense of, well, this is difficult, actually. So the question arises, is it worth it? And of course, I think it is worth it. I think that it is worth actually engaging with the short-term, relatively short-term difficulty of overcoming the, the polarities that are not helpful one way or another in being aware and present and engaged and positive and clear. Because in their own right, these uh, unhelpful hindrances in uh, Buddhist terminology actually in themselves cause strife and aggravation and difficulty. And if they're not dealt with, they carry on dealing, they carry on giving strife and difficulty over time. So actually taking them on is worth it because of the very nature of uh, change and conditioned arising. If you apply yourself to eroding unhelpful qualities and developing positive qualities, then you will succeed. So part of the, the approach to discipline, which I'm suggesting, is that you see, well, even though it's difficult, even though it takes great determination and intentionality to do this, it's worth it. Because uh, as you start to engage in this process of dealing with uh, the swings between not enough effort or too much effort and the difficulty of that, you start to actually get confidence in the process of periodically feeling that, yes, I've got to this middle way point now where my attention is uh, relaxed, light, open, receptive, and at the same time vibrant and engaged and focused. And when those elements come together, then you, you know that you can actually make real progress in being mindful and aware and positivity and meditation generally. So you have this sort of more long-term view, as it were, that the engaging the with the difficulty of these uh, unhelpful tendencies in the long term is worth it because you become free of the difficulties which these unhelpful tendencies in themselves uh, cause you. So you, you start to see that the difficulty of dealing with unhelpful tendencies is worth it because you become free of those difficulties and the difficulties that they cause you. So in that way, there's a clear momentum uh, towards being motivated, emotionally motivated, that this is worth it, even though it's difficult.